The Palace of the Republic opens on the 23rd of April, 1976. The magnificent building is the new jewel in East Berlin's crown. Caretaker Bernd Wolfgang has spent weeks preparing everything for the grand opening. The opening was fantastic. People walked in and stopped dead in their tracks. They saw their reflections in the polished marble, which was a completely unique experience. I really enjoyed looking down from the third floor and seeing people exploring everything, craning their necks to look at the bright lights covering the ceiling. It's stunning. There's no other word for it. You have to see it to believe it. It's so bright, all those lights, it's just beautiful. The palace is full of treasures. Works of art in the lobby, all manners of bars and restaurants, a bowling alley, a nightclub, a post office. Luxurious toilets even feature sanitary style from the West. Come right through, now you've seen everything. It's very welcoming, isn't it? Everything looked amazing and people were saying really positive things. But I also heard some visitors saying, it's real marble. That's not from here. They must have got it from the West. Just look at all of this. The palace's message is clear. The capital of the GDR is a place of progress and wealth. Even West German journalist Lothar Löwe is impressed. Everything here is of the highest quality. No expense was spared, no corners cut. The workers and engineers clearly went to great pains to make this the building that it is. It is a well-made and solidly built construction, but GDR citizens would surely appreciate it if the same quality standards were applied to buildings throughout East Germany. The palace is the GDR's most expensive building. It was built for the people, and the visitors just keep coming. Personally, I always felt very at home in here. When I finished my rounds, I liked to sit on the third floor, smoke a cigarette and look out at the TV tower. I'd let my mind wander for a bit, then my day was over. The Palace of the Republic is also home to the People's Chamber, the GDR's parliament. The SED holds party conferences in the main hall, which can be transformed into a plenary hall in minutes. <laughs>